Here you can see the first high security prison where they put me in on July 16th, 2015 for making historical YouTube videos. It's in the middle of Switzerland's capital Bern, next to the railway station on the one side and next to some art museums on the other side where Swissy exhibits looted Nazi art collections from the Burle gun dealers. While the tourists passing by admiring Switzerland and how clean, wealthy and beautiful it all is, while passing the most terrible torture detention centre with oxygen deprivation techniques applied, when walking from the railway station to the looted art museum. So here's the railway station, you can see here the, uh, the tracks. Here it says Bahnhof Bern and here's the tourist information so there you go walking here past the Burger King here and you're heading for the art museum here with the looted Nazi art collections of Mr. Burler. see my previous film so you're walking here and here's the detention torture facility of Bern Completely airtight, it's here, the whole thing here. And nobody hears a thing. And as all windows are airtight closed, not even a smothered sigh of a tormented soul will find its way out to the happy tourists, who will hardly be informed about this at the tourist information, that political prisoners get slowly tortured to death on the way to the Swiss looted art collection. It says oxygen deprivation. Hypoxia is a deficiency of oxygen which causes cell injury by reducing aerobic oxidative respiration. Hypoxia is an extremely important and common cause of cell injury and cell death. Not even the Islamic State guys and girls are as mean and cruel as Swissy. And I don't think that a devout Muslim tortures any people at all, because he or she would go to hell for that, being the only thing a devout Muslim fears. They're all crisis actors while showing the real monsters as clean and neutral. Now, so hell, Swissy, I'll call you and your criminal little fascist paradise the Swiss Lamic State. The Swiss Lamic State of Octagon. The SS of Octagon for Swiss Lamic S and State S. And SS means ISIS, as in Pharaonic Demotic. Only the consonants are being written. So here you can read in the Google translation how innocent human beings and political prisoners get slowly suicided there in Bern. And this article appeared in the newspaper just a couple of weeks before they put me in there. They probably wanted to do me before they were going to change something. This is the airtight dimmed glass of my cell in that very same prison. I had to look at for months, feeling like an insect in a glass jar with insufficient oxygen, day and night, making you wake up in the middle of the night, not being able to breathe properly. And of course, in case of any anti-torture control, <laughs> if there is any at all, the cell will be shown with the door open for just a few minutes while the code O2T oxygen deprivation really starts working after a few hours with the door closed when slowly the cells running out of air getting thick and saturated for most of your time in solitary confinement in there. So this is the other prison in Burgdorf where they put me in afterwards. They put me together with all sorts of psychopaths, child molesters, schizophrenics, crazy people, maniacs and sick drug addicts next to whom you don't even want to breathe the air or at least what was left of the air and already inhaled a dozen times by them. Then they transported me, the YouTuber political prisoner, to the most modern, also airtight, high security prison of Octagon, Switzerland, in Burgdorf. Where the Duke Hartwig von Hund Radowski 
Hitler's racist model writer was from, where the corrupt cop had lied things together and where all the indictments for speaking out on YouTube came from. Feeling nicely at home, so to speak, in Switzerland's heart of Nazism. And without sufficient oxygen for the organism and your brain capacities, seeing people get crazy and depressive. So here you can see that the Nazis got the idea from Switzerland. In the concentration camps they did experiments on oxygen deprivation. And it's still going on today in Switzerland, on innocent people. Can you believe that? And here I could walk in circles, almost always alone, early in the morning, between the cold concrete and icy barbed wire, feeling as on death row, with the slow death gradually breathing in one's neck, transpiring throughout the entire concrete atmosphere. Just for telling the truth, on YouTube. I'm not sure if it shows. You can see all the... since prison I've got all these veins, you know, popped. Uh, I, I never had this before. Somebody told me it might be of uh, because of scalar waves. Does anybody know more about it? I'm in a very, very bad health. You can't imagine. So I do the other eye now. There's the other eye, I open it up. I don't know if it can f if it focuses all right. Yeah. You see all the veins popped. Well, I'm not dead yet, and they did bad things, eh? When my wife, with the help of some friends, paid the rest of the ransom of my kidnapping and got me out of that Swiss torture detention facility on November the 1st, 2015, I decided not to make any more videos. But since the Swiss state thugs arrested us again, on December 21st, 2015, and solstice again, just like the Swiss Lockerbie sacrifice, I should maybe tell you the rest I know about them. But I need your help for that, and someone offering me a place to stay for which you can contact me on my new email. Tell my wife and children that I love them and miss them. Yes, Manuel, I read the message on your channel. Thanks for everything, bro.